morning all of you now did you get the homework questions okay now if you anyone have doubt i will send that homework answers through the notebook all of you check it and if any mistake you want to recorrect okay then next question we can discuss uh, from the textbook question number 9 okay read the question all of you read the question 1 by 8 of the passengers of a train were children 1 by 8 of the passengers of a train were children if there were 40 children traveling in the train on a certain day how many adults were there in that train that day that is the question okay again read the question all of you 1 by 8 of the passenger passengers of a train were children okay in that train there are traveling children and and um, adults are uh, traveling out of that how many parts are children 1 by 8 of the passengers are children and it, it is given 1 by 8 of that passengers it is given how many children number of children also given that is given 40 and uh, how many then we want to find out how many adults were there in that train that we want to know so in this question it is given 1 by 8 of the total passengers we don't know how many total passengers are there but it is given 1 by 8 of the total passengers is given how many 40 that is number of children is given 40 so from that we can start 1 by 8 of the passengers what is given 1 by 8 of the passengers 1 by 8 of the passengers is given uh, number of children that is number of children is given 40 now here we want to find out what then what will be the number of uh, adults that is the question we want to find out how many adults were there in that day. for that for finding um, number of adults we want to know how many total passengers will be there then only we can calculate the number of adults for that we, we, we will get that answer from this 1 by 8 of the total passengers he, it is given that 40 that is how many here 40 children are there that is given and 1 by 8 of the passengers also that is given that 1 by 8 of the passengers are children that two statements are given from that two statements we can find out so 1 by 8 of the total passengers is given 40 so how we can equate this 1 by 8 of into total passengers total number of passengers 1 by 8 into total passengers is given 40 so from this how we can find out therefore total passengers or total number of passengers will be equal to hmm, 40 here 1 by 8 that multiplied here but we need to transpose to other side it will be and uh, multiply that this divided here so when it transpose to other side it will be multiplied that so what will be 320 so total passengers in that train we find out it is 320 and also it is given the number of uh, children is given 40 then how how many uh, adults will be there therefore number of adults equal therefore number of adults equal from the total number of passengers we subtract number of children so it will be um, 280 passengers are there okay a hey, passengers not 280 uh, adults are there clear from the statement if you read the question well from that how we can find out that equation how we can form that 1 by 8 of the total passengers is given children and also number of children is given 40 also so how we can equate 1 by 8 1 by 8 of the passengers it is will be 40 from that we are first we find out the total number of passengers we got 320 so from the total number of uh, passengers when we subtract the number of children we will get the number of adults okay the next question 10th question in a flower bouquet 13 by 30 of the flowers are roses 2 by 5 of the flowers were orchids and the remaining were uh, gladioli if the number of gladioli were 7 how many flowers were there in the bouquet 
that is the question okay and the, the fractions of two flowers are given what is given <coughs> roses how much is the fraction of roses what is the fraction is given 13 by 30 and what is the fraction of orchid is given okay 2 by 5 orchid is orchid fraction is given 2 by 5 of the total flowers and one more three different types of flowers are there one is roses and one is orchids and third one is gladioli and it is given uh, gladioli's fraction is not given and the remaining were gladioli only is given so how we can find out the fraction of gladioli now so from, from we, when we take these three flowers together we will get the whole part will be one so we can find out the fraction of gladioli gladioli we can find out its fraction we can find out from the whole part from the whole when we sub, uh, subtract the sum of these two the sum of the two roses and orchids we will get the uh, fraction of gladioli so from one one means that whole part when we subtract the sum of 13 by 30 plus 2 by 5 then that will be the fraction for gladioli then how we can subtract this from 1 subtract here 30 and 5 are denominators so this denominators we can make it 30 by multiplying with the 6 so 13 by 30 plus 2 into 6 by 5 into 6 so that's equal to 1 minus 13 plus 12 will be that okay 13 plus 12 by 30 okay it implies 1 minus 25 by 30 that implies 30 minus 25 by 30 it means 5 by 30 okay 5 by 30 this is the fraction for the flower gladioli then what we want to find out what is asked in the question and if the number of gladioli were 7 how many flowers were there in the bouquet we want to find out the total number of flowers in the bouquet and also given the number of gladioli flower is given 7 so how we can write that how we can form for finding whole, uh, the number of flowers total flowers it is given the number of gladioli flower is given so how we can write it this fraction we find out gladioli flowers fraction is 5 by 30 so 5 by 30 of the total flower okay to the 5 by 30 of total flower equal that is given 7 okay so from this we can find out the total number of flowers will be in the bouquet total number of flowers in the bouquet will be total number of flowers okay you write as clear total number of flowers will be 7 this is 5 by 30 of means 5 by 30 into so 7 uh, into when we transpose to other side of this it's reciprocal we want right 30 by 5 so it will be 5 and 30 you can cancel it will be 6 6 7 into 6 that is 42 42 total flowers are the okay 42 total flowers are the in the bucket next question Angidesh and his friend Jimmy together sold tickets for a charity shop for 3800 3, rupees Angidesh and his friend Jimmy together they sold a total they sold uh, how much rupees for 3800 rupees if Angidesh sold 1 3 by 8 times as much as Jimmy sold how much did each of them sell the tickets for okay here each one how many tickets sold that is not given number is not given but one statement is given if Angidesh sold one three by eight times as much as Jimmy sold okay if Jimmy sold x tickets then how many tickets will be Angidesh sold one three by eight x okay 
This one one more. If Jimmy solves X tickets. A variable X. Then how many tickets will be Angidesh sold? That is given 1, 3 by 8 times. Okay, so X into 1, 3 by 8. Okay, that is the total they sold for how much rupees? That also be 1 for 3800 rupees. So from that we will get easily. So first we can take let the ticket sold by what is the first name? Jimmy. Let the ticket sold by Jimmy equal X. Let the ticket sold by Jimmy equal X. Then the ticket sold by Angidesh. What will be ticket sold by Angidesh? 1, 3 by X. 1, 3 by 8. 1, 3 by 8 X. That is given. From the statement we can write that is Angidesh sold 1, 3 by 8 times as much as Jimmy sold. From that statement we can write this. If Jimmy sold X tickets, then Angidesh sold 1, 3 by 8 X tickets. And also what is given? The total they sold how much for tickets? X plus is given. Given X plus and Jimmy's tickets and Angidesh tickets together cost. How much rupees? 3,800. Okay. Then we can find out this. This implies. In first it is a mixed fraction. We can convert that into improper. X plus 1 into H. 8 plus 3. 11 by 8 X. Equal 3,800. That implies. Okay. Here. 8 X. That we can convert that into here. 8 X plus. 11x, 8x plus, otherwise this vector 2, from x plus 11 by 8x, what we can take as common, here x is common, then what is remaining in the first term, 1, 1 plus 11 by 8 equal 3800, okay, that type we can write in both terms have x, so that we can take together, so that implies Simplify this in the bracket x into 8 plus 11 by 8 equal 3800. And what is this implies? x into 8 plus 11 19 by 8 equal 3800. This implies x equal to 3800. Then transpose this 19 by 8 to the other, it will be 8 by 19. And by this simplification, we will get for how much rupees? 1000. Here 19 and 38, 219 is other. So here 200. 200 into 8, that is 1600. This is the uh, ticket sold by the value of x we got this 1600 what we take it as x1 first jimmy is the ticket sold by jimmy we take it as x so jimmy sold how many tickets how much for how much rupees he sold for 1600 rupees and also together they sold for how much rupees that is given 3800 rupees therefore Next, Angidesh. Angidesh sold for how much rupees? It will be 3,800 uh, minus 1,600. Okay, so we will get 1,200. Not 1,000, not 2, 3 minus 1, 2. 2,200 tickets sold by Angidesh and tickets sold by Jimmy is given 1,600. Okay. Then that uh, the problems completed. Next we want to start chapter checkup questions. Okay. So that question from chapter checkup I will give the homework as from the um, chapter checkup. First question you want to do as homework. First question. Okay. All of you do the uh, homework question. Page number 35. Chapter checkup question number 1. Okay. Thank you.